Hey, hey, the legendary show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is back again. Today, we'll ask you some visual questions with answers, and you'll only have seven seconds to think and make your choice. You can either play this game on your own or invite your fellows. Sounds exciting? Here we go. Which shades of gray can you count in this bar? A, 11. B, 1. C, 3. D, 7. So the correct answer is B. The bar in the middle is one constant color. The background makes you see more than one shade of gray here. You can see it if you cover the spaces above and below the bar. Can you tell which of the surfaces is darker? A, A. B, B. C, they're identical. D, they're not even gray. And the answer is C. Surface A only seems obviously darker. In reality, they're exactly the same color. Cover the middle of the drawing with your hand to check it. Scientists still can't explain this illusion. One theory says this might be because of how your brain interprets the signals from the photoreceptors in your eyes. The most active cells reduce the activity in neighboring ones, and this creates a contrast that's not in fact real. Now, find the darkest square in this picture. A1, B2, C3. D. They're identical. Whichever square you chose, you can't be right. They're all the same color, just set against different backgrounds. How many colors do you see here? A. 5. B. 4. C. 2. D. 1. So the correct answer is C. I clearly see 4. Hmm. It's actually two, red and green, one shade of each. You get the illusion there are different colors here because some of them are surrounded by white and some by green boxes. By the way, white isn't a color in scientific terms. It's the presence of all colors. That's why we don't count it as one. Here's another one for you. Which side is darker? A left, B right, C equal, D other. So if you chose C, congratulations. Nope, it's not the right side. It's one shade of red that seems darker on the right because of the black background. How many faults do you see in this square? A6, B8, C12, D0. The correct answer is zero. This square by Walter Ehrenstein is perfect. It seems curved because it's placed inside a pattern of concentric circles. Here's a classic Ponzo illusion. Which of the green lines is longer? A right, B left, C none, D other. So answer C is correct. It's the one in the foreground. Just kidding, they're the same length. This illusion works because your brain interprets the image with perspective, and it's just a simple 2D image. How about a ride? Do you think this Ferris wheel is moving clockwise or counterclockwise? A, it doesn't move. B, clockwise. C, counterclockwise. D, both. A. Sorry guys, the ride is closed today. Any movement you see here is just an illusion. Can you count all the gray dots at the intersections in this grid? A. 70 B. 50 C. 17 D. 0 The correct answer is zero. This is a Herman grid illusion. Your brain makes you think they are gray dots at the intersections because of the dark surroundings. If you look closer, all the dots are gone. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at this mysterious image. Is this just a set of some geometrical shapes, or does it have a secret message? A. Europe B. Eureka C. Hachiko D. It's just random stuff If you chose B, well done. Eureka! That's the correct answer. Are you up for a helicopter ride? Pick the one with a longer line on top. A. Left B. Right C. Equal D. These are not lines. So the correct answer is C. It's impossible. They're equal in length, and the surroundings make you believe otherwise. How many pandas do you see in this image? A. 6 B. 5 C. 2 D. 12 so The correct answer is A. If it's just two, you're an ambitious person focused on your goals. When you have a plan, nothing can take you off your course. You're direct and always say what you really think. If you saw five pandas or more, you're a really creative person. You always see the little things others might not notice. You get inspiration when you least expect it, even from basic everyday events. Moving on, let's take a look at this staircase. A, both ways, B, left to right. C, right to left. D, other. So the correct answer is A. It looks pretty simple, right? Well, now let's flip the image upside down. It still looks like a staircase, but instead of going from right to left, it looks like it's going from left to right. But don't blink. If you blink, the illusion will disappear and you will be left with the original image. Whoa, I think my brain just got really tired. This illusion is known as Schroeder's staircase and it was invented by a German scientist, Heinrich Schroeder, back in 1858. It's really simple, yet it reveals a fundamental mechanism of how our brain works. Let's understand why. If you sort of disassemble the staircase, you'll notice that the image is flat. What our brain perceives as a 3D image is just a combination of shadow and light. This means that the 3D itself is already an optical illusion. This happens because our brain captures images and tries to fit them into what it already knows. So it sees a shadow in a 2D image and it understands depth. Basically, it creates an unreal perspective of the object in front of our eyes. In this case, we call it a three-dimensional perspective. Look at this image for a moment and tell me how many bars you can count. A, seven, B, eight, C, 11, D, six. So if you chose option D, congratulations, genius. This illusion has left the internet baffled. People have counted as many as 11 bars, but most count about seven to eight bars. According to the creator of this image, there are only six complete bars. Try counting from top to bottom and you'll notice that the upper bars are real. But by the time you get to the sixth bar, things start to get blurry and confusing. That's because the last two bars are incomplete, so when you try to count them, they appear to multiply and only leave you more confused. If you trace your pointer down the seventh and eighth bar, you'll be able to see that they are incomplete. They were only put there to confuse you. The next one is tricky. Can you tell if the dark blue lines are parallel to each other or whether they're inclined? A. Parallel B. Inclined C. Both D. There's no dark blue lines here. So answer A is correct. They sure look crooked, but in reality, they're not. This classical optical illusion was first described over 100 years ago, but it wasn't until the 1970s that it got its current name. The Cafe Wall Illusion. A guy named Steve Simpson noticed a similar effect on the wall of a cafe in Bristol, and here we are. Now, let's see how this works. 
first, let's blur the image a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. This way, you'll be able to see that the dark blue lines are parallel to each other. If you look closely, the little black and white bricks at the intersection of wide lines are what made this illusion possible. In addition to that, the curved elements inside the blue lines help to make the elusive effect even stronger. We'll understand why in a little bit. Look at this black square, crisscrossed with perpendicular white lines. How many gray dots can you see? A, 98. B, 0. C, 18. D, 144. Option B is correct. If you look attentively, you'll notice that the white dots situated at the intersection of the grid shift their color from white to gray and black. When you concentrate on a particular dot, you'll see that it's white, but as soon as your attention wanders, the dot turns gray. That's the Hermann grid illusion. Amazing, isn't it? Let's move on to the next one. What's the color of these strawberries? A. Red B. Gray and green C. Purple and yellow D. Pink and purple If you chose option B, congratulations! Do these strawberries look red to you? In fact, they're gray and green. The picture has been drained of any red. Your brain still makes you see it because of something known as color constancy. Your brain can sometimes ignore information from the color of the light. It knows what strawberries are, and it also knows they're supposed to be red, so it helps you see them as such. When an astronaut posted a picture of some sand dunes, the internet thought they were pits, not hills. Only when they flipped the pic over, people could see dunes in the indefinite pattern. Turns out your brain thought the sun was in the 1 o'clock position. It means it's supposed to be casting shadows from the upper right. In reality, it was casting shadows from the upper left. So turning it upside down makes things more usual to your brain. How many black spots can you see in this image? A. 10 B. 16 C. 9 D. 12 The correct answer is D. There are 12 of them, but most people can't see them all at once. All the dots are perfectly visible, but you can see each of them only when you look directly at it. Your peripheral vision isn't that perfect. Your brain has to fill in the blanks. The white between gray lines makes it think the dots are lighter than they are, so it decides to pretend there's just grayer and the dots aren't there. Which bar is longer in this image? A. Front B. Back C. Equal D. Other And the correct answer is C. If you have a toy train track at home, you can see how the next illusion works in reality. You take two segments of the same size and put them next to each other. One of them looks obviously larger than the other one. That's because your brain compares the two sides of the pieces that are next to each other. It compares the right side of the track that's on the left to the left side of the track that's on the right. Take a look at this one. How many black dots can you count? A. 42 B. 111 C. 0 D. 97 The answer closest to the truth is C. We can take this illusion one step further by positioning white dots at the intersection of gray lines. All of them are placed on top of the black background. If you look at this image for long enough, you'll notice black dots starting to pop up at the intersections of the grid, creating a scintillating effect. Another name for this illusion is a simultaneous light contrast illusion. As you perceive the dots as white at one moment, and then, almost immediately, you see them as black. So, why do our senses let us down by making us see gray or black instead of white? This illusion demonstrates one of the most important principles of human perception. 
you don't always see things for what they really are. The retinal cells in our eyes act as light receptors. When only one cell receptor gets illuminated, it perceives more light than when its colleagues are also illuminated. This prevents the firing of nearby receptors. With the Hermann grid illusion, the white lines are arranged in such a way that there's more light around the intersections than along the lines themselves. Thus, the dots at the intersections are more inhibited, and you see darker spots. Which of these two squares is darker? A, A. B, B. C, these are not squares. D, identical. And the answer is D. When you compare squares A and B in the checker shadow illusion, you can tell square A is much darker than square B. Your brain expects the cylinder to throw a shadow on the board. It compensates for the alternating colors it expected to find. If you still don't believe the squares are of the same color, you can compare them with a color selector in any photo editing program. And the last one for today. A, 3. B, more than 16. C, less than 8. D, 42. So if your choice was B, well done. If your answer is 3, you're not wrong. Do you think it's 17? Could be. Although the image went viral just recently, the explanation to this mystery is at least a century and a half old. It was discovered by an Austrian math and physics professor, Mach. He noticed you can easily distinguish between similar colors of slightly contrasting shades when they're close to each other. When you set them apart, the difference is barely noticeable. The professor thought it had something to do with the construction of the eyeball and the tissue the retina is made of. The bands effect was later named mock bands in his honor. That's it for today, millionaires. Did you manage to crack each and every question? Feel free to share your score in the comments and see you in the next one.